Okay, people, uh, today I am showing you, well, us ROMers who like to install ROMs, what to do after a ROM. One of the first things I like to do is go into system settings, um, go into developer, especially if it's Jelly Bean, and click it on, because that way you can change options. After you click it on, you click disable HW overlays and force GP rendering to make it snappier. In performance, some of them will let you overclock, um, some of them won't, but uh, you get warned. So here, uh, you usually can change and usually go to the minimum 192 and the maximum, which is 1512 on this ROM. So usually get those options on most uh, ROMs. If you don't, then find another one. Um, on top of that, uh, this one looks a little different because it's Paranoid Android, which is the phablet, tablet kind of uh, ROM, which I'm using on the uh, Galaxy Note. Um, here, um, here's another little quick tip. Uh, you click five times really quick on the Android version, one, two, three, four, five, and it opens up. Then you just hold down the jelly bean and it pops up. A lot of people do videos and they keep tapping on it and it doesn't get it started. It's because they're not doing it right okay so um, the other thing you want to do is um, download um, titanium manager that's the first step so you now you you set up your uh, processor and all that make sure you set up your APN let me show you that really quick first you go to settings right and then you go into more under data and then you go to mobile networks under mobile networks and you click access point names and then you click on uh, new APN okay so you click new APN you do your settings and then you click on save and that's it that's it last time I tried to do this video I had to restart it because it crashed on me so paranoid Android 2.11 will still have random reboots so you've been warned in case you wanted to install this ROM and any jelly bean ROM that you're installing probably will um, I found Liquid Jelly Bean, which is probably the most stable one on this phone, and you should try most of yours. But to try it, you got to save all your data and back up everything. And so that's why we need um, this app. So we're going to find Titanium Backup. Okay, I had already typed it up, so it's, it was fast. And I usually like to install the key first, which I bought the pro version because I like to support people who help us do all these cool things and allow automatic updating yes I understand the, that I will you be using data mobile or mobile data and I accept to install the other one I can install both at the same time as you can see it's already installing my internet is super fast okay so now um, you will like to do your updates also so I will do updating and just to show you, um, this is a 2.7 megs and it is already at 100%. Okay, so it's installing those apps. While it's installing uh, Google Search, we will, it's already done, 100%. See, it's already done. All right, so you updated your files and you are going to go your apps I meant not your files and okay so now you're going to open not the pro key because that's just the key it open up the app itself and it'll register it as the pro and you have to hit do not click on this because it'll ask you every time just hit granted okay make sure your super sue is updated also so if you have a rooted version of a ROM make sure it has the latest update on that Okay, so you click on that, and now we are going to Titanium Manager. This thing was so complicated, and especially for me when I started using uh, the phone. Sorry for the glare. I had no idea. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Um, we are going to move it a little where there's less glare. Okay, see. All right, so here, um, as you can see, this is very simple. There's a lot of options here. There's options here. There's options all over the place. But what you want to do is just click on this little check mark there. It used to be down here to, to, to go to batch. Now it's here. Batch? I have no idea what that means. All I know is that to back up the first time, you want to go here where it says backup 
new used and system app and newer versions you want to click on everything you know so you click on it and then once you've done like updates and everything and right before you're going to do a ROM you want to redo it so you want to redo everything so you want to redo backups of new app versions of data and uh, system data so you want to back everything up. Now, if you're going to use the same ROM, because maybe it's an updated version of the ROM, um, you can use system data. But if not, I highly recommend that you only back up, um, that you only back up um, the app and, uh, what's the other thing, let's see, the app with the data. That's all I recommend. So it's going to reinstall all your apps. All the settings, I guess you could do it manually because if you're not if you're going into a different ROM, it may give you problems, you know, some cuz a lot of these ROMs have custom stuff and the settings are just not the same, you know. Like for instance, settings on the CPU and all that and maybe it doesn't support it that kernel. And then you end up doing, you know, crazy things. I'm guessing that what's weird about it is their system um apps too which I don't think you really need to download those because I mean I think those are mainly for developers who are trying to do ROMs who want to maybe put like um, on ICS Google now or something um, but uh, I mean system apps already come with it you don't want to install the system apps from another ROM especially if it's been updated and maybe it fixes some bugs okay so now this has been um, a clean version so now that I that you've done the um, you've run the the backup you want to restore and and so this is what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to show you how to do it so I'm going to restore all apps with data I am not going to install all system data because like I said it could cause me problems so here we go we're going to run it it's going to take a while so I'm not going to be able to show you uh, wait wait I did something wrong because if you get this menu it's gonna tell you do you prefer XML do you prefer snapshot that means I'm going to do the settings of the phone and you do not want to mess with that so we're gonna go back I'm glad this happened because you do not want that to happen if you get that menu go back so you do not want to do that you just want to restore missing apps with system data not restore all apps because that includes system apps which I, I backed up so you're just going to do run missing apps with data. So that's all you're going to do. And see, it doesn't. It did not ask you anything of uh, of that in the menu. Now all you got to do is click OK. So I'm showing you this because if you do it the wrong way, the way I was going to do it, it would have gave you a lot of instability, and you would have blamed it on the ROM. And the ROM has nothing wrong with it. It's because you did not back up. You did not restore correctly. So the most important part on how to restore, I just gave it to you, and I just showed you how to use Titanium Backup Minimalist. Only the basics, all you need to know. Um, there's a lot of other options out, uh, on that thing. I do not know what they're for. Um, what I do know, I will be showing you on my other videos. But for now, um, that's pretty much it. This is gonna take time. I just want to say thanks to um, to everyone who's helped me out on uh, you know YouTube, um, for instance uh, Zito Max, um, David Linos, and uh, there's a few others out there. I will mention you on my other videos. Um, thanks a lot. And as you can see, it's backing up. This will take time if your screen goes black. It's okay. Just let it finish. Once it's done, you will have all your apps back. And with the data, the data means that you're going to have, if you played a game up to the seventh level, you will have all that data back on there. Uh, if you already put your password on Facebook, it should already have it, but sometimes it doesn't save it for some reason. Um, but it'll save as much as it can so that you don't have to keep doing the settings in each app. So there you go. That is the end of this video. Please subscribe and uh like the video. I will be doing a lot more interesting stuff, showing you more ROMs on the i717. I will be getting the Galaxy 2, the Galaxy Note 2 when it comes out, and I will be doing a lot of reviews on that phone itself. Um, so, thanks a lot. Have a good one, and uh, watch my other videos. Bye.